Hey everyone, looks like my birthday came early, and I mean quite literally because that's on the 6th. This Sunday, I turn older. That's unfortunate, but for now, my microscope camera has arrived. And uh, please excuse the fact that it is unwrapped at the moment. Um, yeah, I had a quick sneak peek, but I haven't used it. Uh, this is going to be a um, me setting it up and using it, and hopefully helps you set it up your one and use it. Um, but I had it delivered at work, and being my day off, and the guys wanted to have a look at it and stuff, so, eh. Anyway, here it is. Um, uh, came very well wrapped, and bubble wrap, and so forth. Um, it comes with a USB cable, and it uh, also comes with a HDMI cable, which is kind of nice, I suppose. I don't know what sort of quality it is, but it's a definite bonus. And I nearly sliced through it. I was so excited to open the damn thing. And this was wrapped um, separately. It was just sitting beside the boxes amongst the wrap. So keep that in mind when you're opening um, such a package that, uh, yeah, it may not all be boxed internally. So in the little one, what have we got? We have our half CTV lens. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how this all works. But I'm hoping it's some sort of zoom because looking down the eye port at the moment, uh, you can't see anything. You can't make out anything. Um, but this is what they use, so this should be should be the one. And I believe it goes in that way, with the writing correct way. We'll find out. Also in the box, got a couple of baby little pieces that kind of look like eye pieces or another another sort of port adapter. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um, rip it open. <laughs> it's a bit hard to see through the the wrap. But I oh yeah, I've seen those for sale. So has a thread on on the left end here, and I believe the camera mount can slide over that. Some kind of camera mount can slide over that. Either that or this screws into one of the eye sockets for the non. Uh, trinocular style of microscope? I don't know. Then I've got another one which looks the same as the first one and it's it's hollow, there's no lens in it. Uh, this has a groove around the outside so that must be a different mount retainer again. So I don't think I'll need those but uh, we'll see. And then the big box is all the glory. So we have one of those miniature CDs. Should have the driver on it and a very confused looking panda. That's a good start. Yeah, you see his eyes? <laughs> He's very confused looking. Let's hope I'm not just as confused trying to install it and set it up. One user Manuel, and it is English, and it is the usual basic info you'd expect. There is a bunch of menus. Now, I believe if you are using the HDMI lead, these menus will show up on your monitor. I think if you install the driver, there is also a little bit of software that you can use to operate it and uh, um, things like auto white balance and that sort of stuff I believe but I don't know we'll find out remote control again if you've uh, I guess if you've got a monitor um, yeah it's a uh, oh I uh, didn't give you the specs, but it's supposed to be 1080, I think, 14 megapixel. 
uh, and uh, yeah, and buttons on the remote. We've got record. Uh, get a bit closer. Uh, ah, snapshot. It must be take photo camera icon. There's uh, video camera, film camera. So it'd be record, start, stop. Probably either of those. Um, power mode, menu, uh, up, down, left, right. Okay. Does it come with a battery? No, it doesn't. Ah, well, we can't use that right away. I think I've got one. Actually, what sort of battery is it? It's a uh, CR, probably a 2032, like everything else in the world uses. Uh, um, looks to be 2032. It probably says in the book. Maybe if I read the book instead of assuming I know everything. <laughs> Another power supply, 12 volt, 12 volt, 1 amp, American plug, no good to me. I've got two of them now. It's exactly the same as the one that came with the LED light ring for the microscope. And the camera. Can you tell it's blue? There we go. Okay, buttons on the back, uh, menu, down, up, uh, model, uh, on, off, and so forth. Uh, that looks like oh, that looks like the infrared receiver for the um, remote. Trans flash card, HDMI out, USB, DC in. I think it can run off of the USB uh, for power. That would be nice. Um, I'm starting to run out of PowerPoints, so uh, yeah. Uh, Lucky Zoom is the shop that I purchased this from on uh, AliExpress. Um, although this camera is, if you do a bit of research, everywhere. <laughs> so many people selling this one, so um, uh, I don't think it would have been made specially just for Lucky Zoom. Uh, protective cap for shipping. So, if you weren't looking, you might notice, or not notice, that there's a protective sticker dust seal over the CCD. And if you were to unscrew the cap upside down and then attach it to the mount without looking in the end of it, you'd never know, and your image would be quite blurry I'd imagine so we'll just uh, peel that off we won't leave it this way up for too long because we don't want to get dust in there of course but uh, I'm not sure what brand of uh, sensor that is but I think it did say in the listing I just can't remember might be Panasonic hmm Yes, uh, Panasonic sensor, um, one half point three inch. I guess that's the diagonal size, like uh, you'd measure a screen, for example. Okay, so here's the uh, port that they gave me, which has no lens in it, and uh, it does have some up and down adjustment, some very, oh, some very coarse adjustment. If I wind that, so. I wonder if I can use this uh, mount in combination with the uh, with the other one because I don't really know. I'll just knock everything off. What the um, how this works? So we obviously loosen that. That allows that to rotate, but that actually comes off. Sorry, that actually comes off by the feel of it. So that must allow you to rotate the camera to get it where you need it. And then we've got a set screw in here. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is turning as well. If I take this cap off, I bet it's moving the lens inside. Yeah. 
You can see the leans. Uh, very light, slightly, very slightly moving the leans up and down. All right. Okay, I've taken this port off the camera. Sorry, off of the microscope. Uh, this is one of the extras they gave me. Now, I found that that does fit inside the top of that. But again, there's no lens if I do that. And this is threaded on the outside so that that will actually thread into the camera. And uh, here's the, the other mount with a thread on the top side there. So that'll thread into the camera too. They aren't going to meet. So um, I think I could mount it on here, but I don't believe I would see anything, even though I'd get some sort of adjustment. So I'm just going to go directly with this, as you normally see in the photos. Uh, I don't think there's any point. Oh, I don't think there's any point using using that other one. So we'll attach the camera to that. Make sure there's no dust in there first. We don't need to over tighten them. Um, I also don't want to cause any shedding of the aluminium thread uh, to get all over the CCD as well. So just nice and nice, just, just tight. And then this will go into the microscope. And uh, uh, like I said, suggested in the other one, other other video uh, about this, um, the, the the thread on here is coarser than down the bottom, and if you do uh, keep tightening it by the adjuster section, um, it will allow you to tighten the thread in here. But because it's so coarse, you can still then move the adjuster collar. And in theory, that's all the adjustment we need, even though it doesn't really feel like much. It doesn't move a lot at all. But, uh, yeah. Right, we'll plug in the USB cable. And uh, the book says when the light is blue, it's running. So, I don't know about drivers. There doesn't seem to be any drivers as such. It may just, uh, Windows may detect it as some sort of default camera, but we'll find out. There we have a blue light. Uh, it says it's installing uh, software, or at least looking for it. Now I did find it and automatically install it. And uh, it came up as, which I forgot to mention at the start, is the model HY-2307. And uh, well, there may be a typo here, as one of the files on the CD is HA-2307 or it's a slightly newer version, HAY2308 -Y um, is another version out there as well. It has a composite video out uh, socket. So I think here's the SI setup software. So we'll run that, accept and install. Might as well get a desktop icon with that. Run application now. Finish. Okay. If we click on the camera here, maybe we'll get a picture. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not too sure how to get a picture. Um. Okay, let's uh, turn a light on under the microscope. Right. Okay, let's turn the focusing collar on the adapter. So that's pretty good, and I can go back a little bit too far, which is nice to know because 
you know you don't want to run out of adjustment let's just uh, zoom in and see how well it maintains focus if I'm going to have to focus all the time so that's fully zoomed out so it looks like you probably have to adjust it each time you readjust the microscope okay so that's fully zoomed in with the half barlow lens of course and uh, there's plenty of room for focus adjustment so that's good um, let's have a look at the resolution options um, interestingly I can go up in resolution and it doesn't really look any better on screen so hopefully the video recording is quite nice and each time you open the software you have to select the camera from the list and I can't adjust the exposure and what not like it does show that you can but I can't do it, it won't let me do it it's not ticked on auto I just can't uh, change the exposure so I guess final thoughts the resolution uh, doesn't appear to be as good as I thought it might be for 14 megapixel uh, but um, once you zoom right in yeah it's uh, it's a bit it's a bit old looking, um, but uh, it's going to do the job. Um, it was half the price, uh, you know, it was going to be twice as much money again for the next one up, um, which, you know, it had HDMI out though, um, and who knows, maybe the HDMI out will look a bit better, but I don't have a capture card. Um, I might try it on a screen just to see what it looks like, and if it is better, maybe I'll find some sort of capture device, but... Uh, for now, I think over USB will be fine, um, at least so you guys can see what I'm doing. And that's the step in the direction I want to go. Um, I do a lot, a, little, a lot of the smaller component level work now, and you just can't see. Um, you, it's all taken my word for it, and obviously I show you it working, but you'd like to see how to do it close up, so you know. This will suffice. Um, I can't figure out the exposure settings, the white balance and all that. Um, I really wish that worked. Uh, it may improve the image quality a lot. Uh, I will have to ask them what's going on there, see if they've got any ideas. Um, the uh, adapter that the camera sits in, um, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit clunky. Um, if the collar's tight, that's fine, but it can um, move it's uh, not a, a perfect fit um, so you want to make sure the collar's tight um, it, see when I loosen it off it goes a bit blurry there too so uh, then you tighten it up so obviously position is everything we're talking fractions of a millimeter to get it in focus what I did have to do is readjust the eyepieces uh, because in order I found I wasn't getting quite the range that I wanted in the uh, focusing collar for the camera itself um, even I'm still maxed out at the top of the adjustment um, but uh, to keep it in focus when I zoom in uh, and, and uh, I had to readjust the eyepieces so um, keep that in mind uh, you may have to do that if you can't get the distance and whatnot um, combination altogether um, certainly the amount of light you have on the subject helps a lot uh, at the moment it's just my desk lights I haven't got the LED ring lit up because I'm stealing the power supply to run the camera that I'm using to record the video <laughs> um, the battery in it is next to next to shocking it is dead um, for the price and what it's going to achieve uh, I I think it's fine um, and I'll let you know if I can work out the uh, exposure related stuff um, but uh, for now thanks for watching and um, hopefully I'll have a, a video soon that's uh, making good use of it catch you later